Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to go over Dell EMC PowerStore VMware VRO plugin. We're going to start with discussing the VRO plugin overview. We're going to go over the VRO plugin installation. We're going to run several workflows such as adding Dell EMC PowerStore cluster. We're going to create a host and a volume on the PowerStore. And we're going to be adding iSCSI and NFS data store to an ASXi host. The VRO plugin for Dell EMC PowerStore is a plugin for VMware vRealize Orchestrator. It enables administrator to provide an automation capabilities for Dell EMC PowerStore storage array within VRO. It helps to automate the operation that are required for provisioning protection. You can also schedule and customize workflow. The workflow can be used as a building block to build advanced workflows. Let's start by installing the VRO plugin. Login into your VRO control center. Under plugins, click manage plugins. Click Browse and navigate to the Download plugin, click Open, and then Upload. Accept the license and then click Install. And now the plugin has been installed. You will have to wait two minutes for the service to restart. Once the service restarted, log in into your VRO client. Under Library, Click on Workflow and then search for PowerStore or Dell. Now you will be able to see all the workflows that provided with this plugin. Now that we configured the plugin and we can see all the workflows, let's add the PowerStore cluster. To add the PowerStore cluster, we need to run Add Cluster Workflow. We need to provide the IP or hostname. We need to provide also a username and password. And once the workflow completed, you can run list cluster workflow to see which clusters are added. We are going to add ESXi host with VRO workflow. As you can see right now, I only have one ESXi host configured. And I'm going to add my ESXi2 from the VMware environment as a PowerStore host. What we need to do is to copy the IQN from ESXi2 and in the VRO client, we need to search for create host. Now we need to provide the host name. We need to provide the type of operating system, which is ESXi, and the protocol, uh, which we're going to use iSCSI. We paste the iSCSI IQN, click Apply, and then we're going to click Run. Once the workflow completed, we can check the logs. And also, we can go back to our Power Store and refresh the screen and you will be able to see now that you have additional ESXi, ESXi2. Now let's configure a volume to the ESXi host we just created. Search for volume and click on create volume. Provide the volume name. You can provide also description. That's not mandatory. Provide a capacity unit, I'm going to use gigabyte, and the size, and then click on volume mapping. Let's search for the host that we just created, just change it to host and ESXi2, and click run. We're going to be able to see the result in the log and also on PowerStore. As you can see right now, uh, we have additional volume on PowerStore, volume 005.
In this section, we're going to create an iSCSI volume on PowerStore and then connect it to one of our ESXi hosts. Log into your PowerStore, click on Storage and Volume. Click Create and provide a name for the iSCSI volume. And the size, choose a size for your volume and click Next. Choose the host to connect to that iSCSI volume and click Create. Now we have volume 003 to connect. Rescan the storage for the iSCSI HBA. And under devices, you will see a volume available for us. And now we can actually go to the workflow and add that volume. Search for Dell. Click on Add Data Store on iSCSI, Fiber Channel, or Local SCSI. Provide an ESXi host name. In my case, we're going to use ESXi3. Select the disk, it automatically populated if there's available um, available disk. Choose the file system version, the data store name, and the capacity. And then click run. Check the logs. And let's go back to our ESXi environment and see that we actually connected to that specific uh, data store. I'm just going to add my iSCSI to my iSCSI folder. In this section, we're going to add NFS share to ESXi 1. As you can see, the PS Volume 1 is configured only on ESXi 2 and 3. Let's go to Workflow, search for NFS, and then click Add Data Store on NFS. Click Run. Provide the host name, which is ESX1. Provide the server name, the PowerStore NFS server, IP or DNS name and the export, which is the folder. Provide the data store name. In our case, it's ps underscore volume one. And then click run. Once completed, look at the logs. We can see it added the data store. And let's go back to our VMware environment. And now you can see all three of my hosts has connected to PS underscore volume one. For additional resources, please visit dell.com slash storage resources. I would like to thank you for watching this video.